Okay, so we got this bad boy running last time around, and uh, with the fan, it was stable at like 100, 128 degrees, something around there. And <clears throat> now we have to get it to match the interface of the car. So I took one of these standard bulbs. I have another one here. One of these standard 9003 bulbs. I can't really see it very well. But this is essentially it right here. But I have removed the ring interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ring interface right here so that this will essentially just snap in to a Honda Civic so and it just so happened that the way this is designed I'm a I was actually able to break the glue interface be behind each of the circuit boards and I can slide this bad boy right off the top but it would be better if I had a little tripod put it back here Oh, are we in frame? No. And there we go. So I've just removed the array on the boards off of the X rod. And that's just uh, Arctic silver thermal grease to heat sink to the aluminum rod, the LEDs to the aluminum rod. That's what that brown stuff for gray stuff is. Alright, well, uh, I'll check back in later. Jonathan, hey, what's going on, man? I am uh, currently being lit up by my LED headlight. No way. Yeah, notice how crisp and bright and clear this light is. This and is running at one amp. Oh too. my god, it's in the car! Holy crap. So, if, if we use this one. So, this is it right here. There it is, running inside. And that's in the standard enclosure, in the standard headlight enclosure, and it snaps in the same way that a regular headlight does? Yes, headlight it does. Lamp. And it has that cooling fan that's turning right here. And uh, if we, we give a good comparison, so mm -hmm. let's go back to this light on me. All right. So, you can see that? Yep. Okay. This is the standard one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yellower and it's a, a little dimmer. Not as bright. Not as bright. Yeah, actually, from from like this vantage point, let me see if I can if I back up. Her, her, no, yeah, I'll just back up behind this, and you can see that the the one on the right is quite a bit brighter, and that's only running at one amp, right, instead of two. Yeah, this can run basically twice as twice wow. as much juice pump through. Wow, that's awesome, man. So. So next, I guess so is this. To, this is running at. Actually, we can we can test this. And that's uh, um, you expect that to get down in there in the light so we can see you a little bit. So you expect the reliability of this, especially running as cool as it is, to to last a long time. <laughs> uh, yeah. So as long as the fans running, the LEDs lifespan is eighty thousand hours. So this is going to be the first uh, the first kind of a field test of the of the light that's exciting okay that's like uh woohoo yeah finally okay so jonathan what do we got going on here so uh i built a new light bulb all right woo there we go that's the high beam huh that is the high beam so this is quite the accomplishment let's see what we got here so this is really cool this is a Standalone plug in to the existing infrastructure 2005 high beam LED replacement. It's a one amp system, it's got a cooling rack, cooling fan, and uh, very I'm nice. Very, very happy that it's very nice. Built. So, finally, in the 2005 Subi Outback, we're running an LED headlight on the high beam. 